told you guys a couple of days ago I was going to do a bumper to bumper video on this old truck. So uh, I guess we'll let it run a minute, warm up. It's been a long time since I've had it out. I took it to the car show today. We've been back for a few hours now. But uh, yeah, it's a 1956 Chevrolet 3100. It's got a 383 stroker, Vortec roller motor, conventional heads, 202 valves. Uh, it's been a, it's a complete frame off. Um, took the entire truck apart. Me and a friend of mine named Sean, we brought it home from Atlanta and uh, a couple months later we got to work on it. I, I drew up plans and uh, things I wanted done. And, uh, so the day we got started on it, 12 hours later, we had it in, entirely taken apart. Uh, these, these old Chevrolet trucks, all you need is a pair of channel locks, nine sixteenths and a half inch, and you can have one took apart in no time. Let's see if I can get you set up here and pop the hood on it. Take a look and see what's under there. So this thing came originally with a, a 265 inline six cylinder. It's a single in, a single owner truck. Uh, the guy that I bought it from, name's Al down there in uh, Atlanta. He bought it, he worked I believe at the Chevrolet dealership. Bought it in 56 and uh, drove it until I think he said 71 and uh, uh, slung a rod in the six cylinder and put a little 283 small block in it and uh, said he drove that until it uh, started smoking real bad 1980 parked it in the barn and never touched it again found it on eBay so uh, went down there and picked it up uh, Brought it home, took it apart, all the way down to the frame. The frame is the original factory frame. Uh, it's been sandblasted. It's painted uh, a charcoal metallic gray. I don't know in the sun if you can see it. I don't know really how much reflection you're getting off that aluminum. Um, but it uh, has an aluminum three-core radiator, two electric fans. This is a puller, and then one inside here. It's a pusher. Uh, aluminum water pump um, uh, It's got a double roller timing chain. Uh, I think I mentioned a roller cam uh, It sounds a lot bigger than what it is. I think it's a uh, 628 lift cam 288 I believe is what it is stainless block hugger headers um, has the original um, steering box and time sometime I, I'm looking at changing it over to power steering um, has the original straight axle I sent it out to a guy named Nostalgia see it up in Oklahoma and uh, had him narrow it a uh, half inch on each side and then stretch it three inches um, has a uh, LED lights um, every other light is orange the orange ones are the blinkers and uh, then the other one, blue ones are the parking lights and then uh, driving lights down here um, uh, people who know uh, uh, know their stuff about these old trucks will point out that that's a 1957 emblem I like it a whole lot better so I went with the 57 emblem um, got 
boss wheels it's got uh drilled slotted disc brakes all the way around suspension is the factory style except it went from a multi-leaf to a you may be able to see it to a uh, mono leaf suspension um it's been lowered nine inches in the back eight inches in the front uh just standard um brake calipers off of a uh, monte carlo or chevelle <coughs> um the color is a uh, factory ford color um off the uh Ford F-150 and the Ford Fusion. Get over here in the sun. Got a lot of pearl. 56 grams of pearl per quart. Paint coat is UH Tuxedo Black. Um, the wood is oak. Um, stained a cherry oak color. And uh, it's got uh, epoxy turned out really nice um painless wiring harness and uh fuse box fuse block relay uh the interior is uh ostrich leather I had a friend of mine named carlos um do the seat i done everything else this is brushed aluminum it's got uh, a coat of semi-gloss clear on it with the ostrich inserts um, uh, tachometer all new um, autometer gauges um, it's got the uh, low car shifter 700 r4 um, with lock and torque converter transmission um, it's got a 625 street demon carburetor love that carburetor really quick throttle response um, MSD ignition Taylor wires uh, two and a half inch stainless exhaust through uh, single chamber super 10 flow masters um, stainless radiator catch battery from Walmart you can't see it but got lighted under the hood um, you also won't be able to see it but it's also LED lights under the dash um, and of course then you have your dome light up here um, factory steering wheel factory steering column um factory brake pedal assembly it's got a low car um uh fuel pedal has the factory fuel tank in the back um it's got uh crunch you may be able to see the lights now uh it's got crunch um, speakers all the way around um, all new obviously all new hardware a um, uh, little nifty the starter you can't start it with just the key open it up there's a button inside um, has the, uh, if you'll notice, has a pretty good scratch in the glass. The, the reason is you can't, you can buy a factory glass, but if you'll look, the factory original glass is bowed both directions. The only glass that you can get is uh, just flat glass. So I wanted the original back glass in it, even though it's got a scratch in it. I can live with it. Um, bedsides are original, fenders, both fenders are original, the front of the bed and the tailgate is all aftermarket, 
the bumpers aftermarket both doors are brand new cab corners have been replaced inside and out um, this is a new driver side fender that's the original fender um, all these panels up front are all original uh, replacement grill and bumpers um, inner fenders are original um, of course the cows are original they don't come off they're welded on um, your cow vent is original the windshield has been replaced the window the butterfly window is original on both sides these side glasses have been replaced um, got dynamat insulation everything is super insulated I mean this thing is solid as a rock uh, inside and out there's even insulation under the fenders to keep any type of uh, roar down from vibrating metal um, it's a uh, let's see what else is done to it exhaust is heat wrapped all the way back to the mufflers uh, we've got a Melodin Milliden, however you say that word, oil filter relocation. Um, the truck is so low, it's it's a pain to get under. It's a pain to even get a floor jack under it to jack it up. But uh, but guys, that that about covers it. Um, it was a lot of fun building the truck. Uh, I bought it March of 2016. And finished it October of 2017 and uh, that's pretty much non-stop if I had any free time I was working on the truck and that's uh that's really getting it especially when you're doing it uh, most all of it doing it by yourself um, that's one of the reasons I like building these trucks you know they're you can pretty much take one completely apart by yourself nothing's real heavy you know you might need a cherry picker but generally there's nothing really heavy and there's nothing on these things that that you can't do you know or a person can't do by theirself um it's a little bit more difficult after it's painted because uh you don't be rough with those panels after they're finished but um i told you there was a video coming on the truck so there you go um Leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you next go around.